Today, Samsung announced the brand new Galaxy Z Fold 3 and the brand new Galaxy Z Flip 3. Lots of Zs, lots of 3s, but I have the Galaxy Z Flip 3 right here. I'm gonna unbox it for you, show you what comes in this very slender box. Probably not a lot. And then I'm gonna talk through a couple, uh, couple thoughts, a couple uh, of my first impressions. And let this shirt be a bit of a clue for one of my favorite new things. First thing that strikes me about the box, let me get the right one here, is that it's two-tone. It's got a big letter Z, and if you can't tell on the screen here, the top half of the Z is kind of like a chrome, has like a reflective quality, and the bottom half is cream-colored because when you flip it on the bottom, you can see that I have a cream-colored Z Flip 3. Um, if you look at the edges of the box, you can see it's very thin. On the back, there's nothing. It's just a black void. All right, let's open up the box here. And greeting you wrapped in plastic is the Galaxy Z Flip 3. Let's remove that. There's a black envelope here. It says Samsung on it. On the back of the envelope is a SIM card tool. Let's open up the envelope. There's some documentation and there is a USB-C cable. So yeah, that is everything you get. The Z Flip 3 does do fast charging, but you need a fast wall charger. So if you don't have one, you're gonna buy one anyway. Let's unwrap, let's free the fold from its plastic wrap. Let's turn it on and we are greeted with a very familiar Samsung screen. My very first impressions holding the phone, it feels wonderful. It doesn't feel lighter than uh, the, the previous flip, which we'll show you in a moment, but it, it just feels very solid. It feels very smooth. And that two-tone obviously houses that larger cover screen. But before we walk through stuff, I wanna take a look at it next to the original Galaxy Z Flip. I had the original one since it came out, so it's over almost a year and a half old. It's been my daily Android phone when I'm in between reviews, and I absolutely adore it. But here is the cover screen on the outside of that phone. It's very small. It shows the time in a, in a weird way. It's, it's kind of cool the first time you see it, but it is useless. You can't do anything. Now, let's take a look at this cover screen on the Galaxy Z Flip 3. That screen's four times bigger. There's just so much more I can show. I can see the time. Also, the cover screen on the Galaxy Z Flip has one of the most fun things I've seen on the phone in a long time. And maybe it's just been a long day, but I can have animals greet me. So watch this. I can have a tiger. I can have a monkey. I can have a rabbit. I can have uh, a lamb or a sheep. As far as the physical differences between the original Z Flip and the new one, there's not actually a lot, right? Uh, it's the same size. It feels the same weight. The hinge seems like it's the same size. So we're not seeing the, the weight savings and the little nips and tucks that we saw in the Galaxy Z Fold 3. The Galaxy Z Flip 3 uses a new material called Armor Aluminum. Uh, it's clearly a marketing term as well. But what this material does is it, it's for the body and the hinge. And I have to say, I really feel that difference in my hand. It's not heavier, it doesn't feel more durable, it just feels more uniform. It all feels like one piece. I don't feel like I have a hinge piece and a, a screen piece. It just feels uniform like a regular phone. The other big thing on the Galaxy Z Flip 3 are the two cameras. We got the wide and the ultra wide. Also, we have flex mode, and flex mode you can use, like if I'm taking a photo, I have all the controls in the bottom, I can watch a video, have all the controls in the bottom, and apparently there's more apps that do that. Okay, my nitpick, my, my problem I had with the first Z Flip and the second Z Flip, or the Z Flip 5G, was when you use the gallery app, Samsung's own app, and when you use that in flex mode, it never put the photo on the top half it just left it in the middle of the screen. So you had like your photo is bent in half. Let's take a look and see if that has changed on the Galaxy Z Flip 3. And I am sad to report it has not. It has not. Why did you guys not fix this? It's very straightforward. Is this a life or death thing? No, but it's annoying. So yeah, just fix it. I am very excited about this phone. It feels like a big improvement, even though it feels in a way the same size. It's very hard to describe. 
Hey guys, so that's all I've got. If you are curious to learn more about the Z Flip 3 or pre-order one, check out the link in the description. And in the meantime, I wanna hear from you guys. What do you think of the Z Flip 3? Is this, is this like, is the $1,000 price low enough to, to get one? Um, are you happy with what comes in the box or do you think it needs that fast charger? I kinda think it does. I don't know, throw your thoughts in the comments.